Okay, do you want to start us off? Sure. Um, Pat, we talked to Darwin post game and he said that you won't allow for this group AD's absence to be an excuse. What has this period been like missing him and what do you think? What's the process that needs to occur to get back playing winning basketball? Um, obviously, you, there's nothing you can do to, you know, uh, fill a void Anthony Davis, especially uh, uh, the year he's uh, he's had this year. Um, not only offense, but uh, you know, obviously rim protection, rebounding. Um, we have to do it collectively, and um, it has to start defensively. And uh, you know, the last I don't know four or five games, you're giving up you know 120 points plus. You know. Uh, it's tough to tough to win this league if you're giving up that many points. So uh, we're scoring a ton of points, though. You know, it's a positive, but uh, we're giving up a ton too. We're giving up a, offensive rebounds. We're giving up a lot right now. So uh, we just got to lock in. You know, those things that we can control and uh, and uh, get back on that horse whenever the next game is against Orlando. Dan, obviously with Noidy, there, there are it's a huge hole, but. Is it, have you viewed this as like are these effort problems? Are these like you said mental lapses? What's happening defensively where teams are able to to kind of shake loose and, and have you know 130 point nights, 50 point quarters, stuff like that? Um, first half has been great. First half last game was great. First half game before was great. You know, something about that second half that I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it's mental. I don't know if it's te effort. I don't know if it's you know. Fuck what it is, I, you know. I'm not gonna sit up here and make a ton of excuses, but uh, whatever it is that we need to, we need to get better at it. And it's, it's defensively, you know. And me being a defensive guy, uh, you know, you hear me harp on defense a lot, but uh, that's where it has to start. Um, Darwin has turned to you and Dennis a lot to, to say set the tone defensively, and I know, um, you know, that maybe takes even more communication-wise with ADL. How, how do the guards? role change without AD? Is there just more attentiveness to rebounding? Is there more, uh, is it just more, hey, you got, you have to take your guy and you don't really have sort of somebody to back you up? What, what, how does the guards role change? I don't understand the question. I just, is there something you have to do differently in, within the scheme? Oh. As a guard? No. Anthony Davis plays, Anthony Davis doesn't. I still have to go out there and defend my ass off, um, play with pace. I don't know. Uh, shoot the ball, make plays. I'm, I don't know if that answers your question. Dan, this, this team has been has had some dark moments this year. You know, five game losing streak, stuff like that. And there's been resiliency. Well, what have you seen when faced with adversity inside your locker room that maybe gives you confidence that there's a, there is an answer? Oh, you know, anything that happens in the locker room, I have to stand in the locker room, obviously. So, I wish I can give you that answer right now. Do you believe that, that there is a resiliency level within this group to to kind of figure out such a complex and difficult problem? Yeah, we're pros. We're pros. So, has to be. Thanks, Pat. You guys have a good Merry Christmas.